Guys, Zaya is such a strong ADC. I always forget about her, but when I whip her out, I do so much damage, and I've actually been gaining a lot of elo with playing Zaya. But paired with a Rakan, it's almost unstoppable. I swear, Rakan and Zaya together is just a powerhouse in the laning phase. So if you want to start learning and playing Zaya, let's break down the items slash build slash runes I go on her. So for the items, I go Infinity Edge, Static Shiv, Stasis, but I don't... I want to get the stasis this early on because your ultimate is already a a stasis of its own so you could also go uh qss if you want um but i usually just run stasis all the time then you want to go rapid fire cannon and mortal reminder and at the end you're going to pair it off with the ga ga is so strong um just on adcs because if you end up killing an adc you always have that second chance as a revive and yeah you could basically do whatever you want when you have your ga up for the runes you're gonna want to run conquer brutal hunter titan and sweet tooth now you could switch hunter titan with loyalty i usually run loyalty if i'm playing with recon because i'm gonna be fighting a lot but if i'm against you know if i need tenacity then i really like running hunter titan and for the spells, you're going to want to run Barrier and Flash, or you can run Heal and Flash. So with that, we're going to go into a Zaya gameplay. I do pretty well in it. It was a pretty good game, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more high ELO ADC content just like this. And let's get right on into the gameplay. All right, guys, in this gameplay, we're playing Zaya Rakan. So we're just rushing right away. When you're playing Zaya Rakan, you, you just want to rush a lot. But yesterday. in this gameplay, we made a minor mistake. We, 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 I kind of messed up right here because I knew that they were going to be in lane. And this trade was just not the best it could be because uh, Goofy was not able to stun, was not able to stun the uh kaisa there luckily somehow i lived on one hp i outlived the ignite which actually that genuinely surprised me because i should have been dead but honestly that that was the only uh, big mistake in this game to be honest was that uh start so so this will basically make the early game a little bit harder than it had to be because when you're playing zyra Khan, it, it's so it's so strong but look at this oh my god our ramus just invaded that buy and said not today that is going to be my blue buff which is uh pretty cool so i'm starting to play aggressive right i want to give uh, i want to get some map pressure going since my teammate is invading but honestly that was really important for our ramus to do that it was very important and uh pulling that off was very 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 key so at this point i'm just keeping the wave on my side trying to uh level up because once you get level three with zaya you're in a fantastic spot How do you like um you don't really want to upgrade your your skill two and skill one you want to upgrade your skill two and skill three uh but but since i just wanted some wave clear i just went with it but right here i tried to engage on lulu and I used my skill 1 and skill 3 really fast and you could get the damage off. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you want to, if you just want to do the damage really quickly, you could use your skill 1 and skill 3. It will pull the feathers back as fast as possible. You can literally pull them as they're going uh, to get an instant. Like the damage will be pretty instant. So we just recall here together. It, it's a great recall to get in so we could get back to the lane. And yeah, like I said, the, 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 the early game start of this laning phase is, is slowed down from that start because I got not only did I have to recall, I wasn't able to level up. So that's why we're in a little bit of an issue. But the thing with when with playing um, Rakan Zaya, the way I want to play it is this. I want to keep the wave on my side so that my Rakan could look for an engage and then we go in. So boom, Rakan misses an engage. It's okay. It's okay. We just reset. We reset. We got to wait for that engage to come up again. And we could go in. Like um, so I'm just taking my time. I use my W to do some damage. Uh, and I'm not... I don't want to waste my E too early on. Even though... Like, I, like I want to make sure I really get a root. So we're just waiting for the stun up again. We see that Lulu is being a little weird in the bush. And my flash is about to spawn. Which is all important. So... Deceived looks for the engage onto the Lulu. And the Lulu actually lives. I was pretty surprised that the Lulu uh, lives right there. But... Uh, Lulu does end up living and I think the the honey fruit actually spawns up too but yeah so Vi ends up rotating here but I'm not worried because I have my ultimate as you can see I'm kind of trying to play aggressive 
but I want to group back to uh, my support right here. But dude, guys, this fight gets crazy. Watch how I play this. Watch how I play this. I, I start getting all my feathers down. All my feathers, and I just go ham right here. I'm like, okay. All right, Kaisa, you need to die as well because they're so low. So I want to go help out my Ramus. Boom, we get that. I end up flashing onto Kaisa using my skill one and skill three getting the triple kill so that was really key guys so i mean basically the key thing with zaya and team fights like that it's all about stacking your feathers don't be worried about don't you don't even need to look for roots you don't want to always just pull with three feathers like you want to stack up as many um feathers as you can because it does a lot of damage when you pull them back so right there i mean i had five feathers for my old i i use i had like eight nine feathers when i pulled them into vi kaisa uh so that was really good if i used my e earlier on then i wouldn't have been able to do as much damage as it did so right here i want to start poking right because they're on dragon so kaisa pops flash that's always good i'm just gonna wait for my w to spawn up again you really need your w guys because your w is the only way for you to chase down enemies and do a lot of damage and that was something that actually recently got buffed because they reduced the cooldown that it's on one second per per level which is very key especially when it comes to trading so right now uh goofy and i we're still going to be looking for engages he ends up missing that one again but it's no problem i want to keep the wave on my side as much as i can overextend to us um, because that's very important, but, uh, yeah, so the wave's pushing a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I'm not too inclined to just hardcore shove because I see Ramus. So right here, I try to make an aggressive play. I get polymorph, but the Ramus, I mean, honestly, that Lulu did good right there. So the Lulu, um, polymorphed me and then ulted Kaisa, which pushed Ramus away. So right here, I ulted. I have so many feather stacks, but I don't have my blade recaller. But I'm still taking it patiently, boom, and I just do a bunch of damage. A bunch of damage, I get my W up so I can just chase these guys down, and it's just a max massacre. We end up uh, diving Kaisa as well, boom, I just recall my blades, and yeah, I mean, I, I just so far, so far in this game, I've just did a fantastic job of applying so many feathers down with my ultimate with my skill one with my w so that when i pull them in it just just does a bunch of damage a bunch of damage so we end up getting cloud dragon cloud dragon is fantastic for recon zaya because they want to be mobile and fast like the more faster you are with zaya the better way you could get uh really good feathers down and and root people and also the root got buffed um by a crazy amount for how long the the root duration is which is uh pretty important so yeah fantastic fantastic dra dragon to have as zaya so basically what we're going to want to do is just continue as you can see i'm not shoving this minion because there's no reason to shove it i want them to come to me i want them to come to my recon recon gets a nice engage i end up going in on kaisa i get a beautiful stun and they're just falling like they're just they're getting destroyed right now i mean like there's nothing you can do about that. Like, there's nothing that that Kaisa can do about it. Because I'm freezing the lane. So if he wants CS, he's going to need to overextend. And if he overextends, he will get stunned. So um, I'm not really sure what viable options that guy has. Then, um, you know, I just don't die for the CS is really. But there's nothing you can do about that. That's why it's super important to have very good lane management when playing Zaya. So right here, I'm just poking him down. Like, I, I don't care. Um, sadly I got polymorph so I couldn't pull those feathers in uh, to get a big root off right there but I'm still chilling we're kind of basically overextending here so I'm gonna kind of egoing it so right now we're egoing it and it's my call to ego it uh, I walk up to to get this Vi this Vi ends up just I don't know what she was doing but we end up losing this trade down here guys we end up losing this trade and it's mainly because i do not have my w up my w is on cooldown so the way we took this engage uh was not the best i ended up getting polymorphed we go in and boom my recon got deleted so right there i got an amazing uh blade recall in and i flashed in to finish off the kill uh because i was gonna die to his q anyway so that was um that was my only death of the game what went wrong there is recon was low and when recon engaged um he took a full-on isolated q and that's why you got to be careful with those isolated cues from kaisa 
they do so much damage. So, um, yeah. We we should have just chilled there. Honestly, we egoed it. But, you know, you got to ego it from time to time. Anyways, our teammates up at top are kind of overextended. But uh, the tr our Trindamir ends up dying. Gives the kill to Diana, which is scary. But the one thing about playing against Diana, guys, is your ultimate can dodge the Diana ult. So, and that's pretty easy to do. And look, I'm just going off on this Lulu. But they have a... They have a honeycomb up, so uh, we kind of lost this trade because of the honeycomb. We did so much damage to Lulu. She soaked it all up with her ultimate and honey fruit that we end up being low. So, but Rakan tries to re-engage this, and this is just getting sketchy. Like, my Rakan just... Uh, Goofy kind of trolled there. He, he needed to just calm down. You can't... T you, you don't want to take every single engage you can. So right here, I'm put in an awkward position of like, oh, they're taking my turret, man. There's nothing I could really do about this, um, which is which is annoying. But I'm trying to dance around them since Garen came down here. But I have to be careful. Right here, I messed up because I did not use my ultimate on the Kaisa Q right there. That was really bad. I need to use my ultimate when Kaisa is using her Q. So at least I wouldn't have gone that low because getting that low... It was uh, too close. It was way too close of getting low. Like, if I died there, it would have been sad because I had my ultimate. So, yeah. Anyways, I end up living. And the game gets slowed down here because, honestly, Rakan dying twice um, slowed down the game by a lot. So, uh, basically, we just need to wait till team fights around, like, this next dragon or if they try to go for turret. Um, and, yeah, so I'm just... I'm just trying to keep my farm up. We get a nice engage onto Diana, but she ends up getting away. It's it's pretty hard to kill Diana, especially, dude, Rod of Ages makes Diana so tanky. It's it's actually ridiculous sometimes, bro. Like, I f like, if I'm behind, I feel like I just scratch Diana. So, anyways, we got to rotate to this dragon. Um, we want to have a big fight here. Sadly, I do not have my ultimate, so I'm a, I'm a little bit scared of this. But the way we take this fight is interesting. Rakan just engages, I slash over, uh, and I just lay down the feathers and pull them in, get a double root, which is pretty good. And yeah, I mean, I just, honestly, I just slaughtered this. I just slaughtered this fight, to be honest. I just went ham. Um, and I just come to uh, get these guys down as well. I have my ultimate up now, but there's no reason to use the ultimate. We just chase them down and they're dead. Bada bing, bada boom. That is a five man swipe. Like, we destroyed them. So, this was the main point where we get the snowball off, right? We needed that to happen. Um, the game was slowing down, right? Because Rakan was dying, but we still weren't behind enough to lose team fights. Team fights, as you can see, it wasn't even close. So, we end up just focusing down the Baron. And the Baron's just a great way to also extend your gold lead because you're able to get turrets. Guys, turrets give a lot of gold. A lot of gold. So right here, they actually try to make a, a play for the steal, and they end up stealing it actually. And this is this gets a little sketchy um, <laughs> because Vi gets it, but I have so many feathers stacked up. But sadly, I couldn't pull any of them, which was bad. I wasted my E. I should have been more patient with it because uh, you want to have your E up when you ult, guys. Usually, you want to have your E up when you ult. If you're ulting and your E is already on cooldown, you you messed up the the fight right there. So I definitely. Uh, messed up the fight right there. I should have uh, had my E up with my ultimate. But it is what it is. We're just going to keep farming. So them taking the Baron was pretty sad. Um, How do you, like me today? you don't really want to be in a coin flip scenario, but it happens. It happens. So three of them will have the Baron buff. And it is what it is. So now we can't really push our gold lead, which slows the game down even more. This is what makes this game actually as long uh as it is because guys we were ahead the entire time like the amount of damage like i was doing was ridiculous so the game getting extended like this like it's it's 25 to 9. usually these games uh end really fast but then you know our trend starts trolling like i don't know why our trend is invading the blue alone against three members that have baron buff like it just you know it doesn't it doesn't make sense but I, I guess it happens. So we basically need to defend everything um, until their Baron buff runs out. And honestly, I'm not even worried to fight. Like, I'm actually down to fight. Because, um, I mean, I do so much damage. So it's all about getting the right engage. Literally, with Zaya Rakan, it's all about looking for the right engage um, onto them. So I'm always trying to look for an auto attack so I can use my W. Uh, I'm looking for another auto attack. 
And I'm just poking them down with my rapid fire cannon. Um, and dude, rapid fire cannon is super strong actually. Um, to, to give you that extra range to auto attack them, it's pretty ridiculous. So I'm just uh, getting them lower. Like the Lulu is already half HP. So I start kind of just looking for auto attacks. We kind of realize we're trolling here. Um, the Camille was trying to look for an engage there, but ended up not taking it. But man, guys, the static shiv proc and the rapid fire cannon proc, man. Right here, look at that. I ulted the Diana ult, instantly blade recalled those um, to root Diana into place. Um, and then we just focus the front line. Like, I'm just going to be focusing who I can. I use my E, but uh, Vi already was you know reviving herself so it didn't really matter i just take chase down uh vine we get the kill on kaisa as well from the garen so right here we're basically like i said we're just snowballing like there's just nothing they can do literally nothing they can do um and the baron just delayed the game a little bit so we're gonna go try to end the game as soon as possible right here we are out for blood but we actually end up trolling here because look at what diana does guys diana hops in ults like the broken character she is i have to stasis that turret shot and i'm like oh this ain't good so it's like all right i'm gonna try to kill her um because there's nothing else i can do and there's no no blades for me to recall there that would have done uh damage which kind of sucks and so we lose our top in hip so that was bad like camille just split pushed and diana saved them from losing the game so uh, this also puts us in an iffy situation, but I'm not really too worried about it. We end up having to give Ocean. I really didn't want to give Ocean. I was looking if there was a way for us not to give Ocean because I was like, man, that is just so sad to give that. But yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. So uh, I just I just give it up. I just give it up. And we give up mid as well because there's no reason to defend mid. We end up losing it anyways because Diazet does so much damage with her Moonlight on me that um, that I recall. So they do end up getting this mid tower, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, but yeah, I recall. I pick up the Mortal Reminder, um, and I, like I said, I'm still super strong in team fights. It's not even close. It's just um, this game's just getting delayed for. Uh, just from you know troll things from our own team we should have not tried to end there have you guys been in situations where you try to end like the way we did you're trying to push and one of their members just spawns up but right here we look for the clean engage onto them get my auto attack with my w and i start laying down the feathers on them man and we just start popping off right there. I could have uh, ulted the Camille ult, but so many things was happening that it didn't even matter. But right there, boom, swipe. Uh, if you're fighting Kai uh, Zaya in the jungle area, you're going to get mauled because it's such tight corridors. You do not want to be fighting or chasing Kai uh, uh, Zaya in these type of corridors. So right here, we just we just go on them, guys. Like it, It's just look how much damage I do. Um, I just flash in on him and luckily we ended the game right before I could kill him But yeah guys Zaya is super OP and I always forget about her sometimes But I'll never forget to do that anyway So I hope you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more ADC high elo content just like this And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace